Hello everyone, this is Dalster and welcome to another episode of Almost Gone Rebuild, episode 17. And today I'm actually doing the Anaheim Garden Walk since it's kind of a bit of a mall but it's a lot smaller. But I'll just look around and I do have other malls that I'm planning to do. It's just that I wanted to do the Anaheim Garden Walk so it's just kind of like a mall but it's a lot smaller. There is a little bit of history so this video might turn out a lot smaller than that. Than you probably think it would be. <laughs> so P.F. Chang's and Bubba Gump is still here. I think the McCormick, what's it called, McCormick Grill is still here too. But the Anaheim Garden Walk, it has changed a lot over the years. I remember when it first opened. It was just filled with a lot of stores, but now it's like... Uh, but I remember at one point, it was just really empty, but McCormick and Schmick's? grill uh, yeah so at one point it was empty but I mean it's kind of like gotten a lot more colorful I remember the walls too I remember they had walls like this but they were like hard walls and it would be like different colors announcing that the Anaheim Garden Walk was opening because my mom she worked at a hotel a couple blocks from here also I wanted to thank everyone for 400 subscribers who finally hit 400 I do have a special video coming up, but it is a work in progress. I'm hoping to get it out by probably sometime next week. Because due to the weather, it's going to be raining all week again. All weekend, sadly. I that sound. I don't know if you guys could hear the, the chiming up there. It sounds really calming. Yeah, it's a lot different. It's I feel like every time I come here, there's always a bunch of different random stores. So right here, this, I think this is Kate, and this is Ella. So at one point, they actually, did you know that they combined the names Kate and Ella in order to make Catella Avenue? Which I'll explain a little bit. Yeah, so Catella Avenue was inspired by these two girls right here. They were the daughter, uh, it's kind of hard to read, it's so dirty right here. But I'll explain a little bit. I remember there used to be a Lush Cosmetics around here, but I think that one closed. And there also used to be like a, God, I just had it in my head. Oh, it was a woman's clothing store, but I'll show you what it where it was. There's really not much information about the Anaheim Garden Walk because it is still kind of a brand new mall. But the Anaheim Garden Walk opened on June 14, 2008. So, 16 years old by now, almost 16 actually. This, in a couple days. Um, it was around the time we were going through a recession, which definitely one of the worst recessions I had to go through with my family. Seen as a haven for artists, the small area has a lot of artwork. One of the artworks is the Kate and Ella statue, which I just passed by right here. It's like right over here. The statue is based on the daughters of John Rea, who was an owner of a walnut r ranch in Anaheim. He decided to combine the names of his daughters and called his ranch Catella. That's how the street of Catella Avenue was born. Although, I don't want to be rude or anything, but when you take the bus in Catella, there's always a bunch of weirdos in there. How do I know? Well, my mom always tells me stories about all the times that she takes the Catella bus, there's always a bunch of horrible people around. He decided to combine the names of his daughters and called his ranch Catella. That's how the street of Catella Avenue was born. Then there's the painted stairs. It was painted. Now, excuse me if I mispronounce it, but it's J. Kitinoha. Kitinoha. And was displayed in February 2017. There's also the Mandala of Unity painted by a woman named Anna Marcantel. It's supposed to represent the universe of spirituality. Stores that used to be there were Tommy Bahama and Taylor Loft, Hollister, Ultra Lux Cinemas, and women's stores. The, I remember there was a, a Lush and a women's store. I forgot what it was called, but there used to be a, this women's store in um, Hawaiian Gardens and somewhere around Fullerton, but they changed the name of it. But crimes that happened here I have only found one crime that happened at the Garden Walk, and it happened almost a year ago. In May of 2023, two men were killed around 2.30 a.m. 
It happened at the parking structure as one man was found dead by the police. His name was Deontay Marcus Lennon, and he was 32 years old. He was from Highland. Another man was in great condition and was transported to the hospital soon after. Unfortunately, he died at the hospital, and his name was Elian Tanori Arvayo, and he was 21 years old. Dang, that's really young. Supposedly, there was a huge fight that led to the shooting. According to ABC7 News, there were calls of someone being run over, but it was unknown if it was true back then. They arrested a suspect who was in Phoenix, Arizona. One person who was interviewed for KTLA 5 News said that nothing like this has ever happened in the Garden Walk. The suspect was held on a $1 million bail. The suspect was 21 years old at the time. Police said there was a previous fight at the Heat Ultra Lounge that led to the shooting at the parking structure. There was a GoFundMe for Deontay, but it is now closed. Which kind of is sad, you know. I wonder if his family's doing okay. At least it's a GoFundMe to help a family, unlike some people that use their GoFundMe to donate money for music tours. <coughs> Musicians. On the Reddit post, one person commented saying that one of the men got that got ran over by a car in order to avoid the sh getting shot at. Another person commented that they work or worked at the lounge and that they saw some wild things there. The fights could be gang related and that there probably were drug dealers involved at the lounge, but it is from a Reddit post, so I would just take it as a grain of salt. Yeah, so these are the statues that I was telling you guys about. I just wanted to give like, a better look of it. Yeah, it's really artistic, as you could tell. A lot of art everywhere. What are you it doesn't look like the Lush Cosmetics is here anymore. I remember there used to be a Lush Cosmetics. There was also a Mexican restaurant that shut down, but it was a long time ago. So far, this store is closed. I don't know if it was like a comic book store or something, because I remember I went to the store and they had like some kind of action figures, comic books, but I don't know. Looks like a restaurant to me. Maybe it was a cookie store. Yeah, a lot of art and stuff. I just said that. <laughs> Mostly a lot of like Asian type of mar markets around. Ooh, I've never seen this. Whoa, what is that? Looks like The Undertaker and Exorcist combined. <laughs> that is creepy. <laughs> it's probably some escape room thing. Looks nice though. The area, although this one, uh, it looks kind of creepy. Yeah, I think they did take off the Lush Cosmetics. So, also, I remember, didn't they have like a Blake Shelton restaurant that they were gonna put, or was it like some kind of country singer type of um, restaurant? I don't remember, but I don't think it's here anymore either. Yeah, too bad I don't have any chalk. I would have put like, oh, follow Dalster on YouTube, Insta, and everything. <laughs> Oh well. I wish I had chalk, man. That's... Oh well. Here's the artwork that um, the Mandala of Unity, that's what it's called. It was painted by an artist. I hope I don't get copyrighted. Why is this one was still here? I think I took a picture of it on my other Instagram account a couple months ago. Lakers. <laughs> they have a flat screen right here. Yeah, they also have like, whoa, that's a dragon. They also have like this area where you can hear like airplane sounds and stuff around here. I remember when I watched the Black Panther Wakanda Forever and the Spider-Man movie, you could like easily hear those sounds. 
while I was recording those movie reviews. I don't know if you guys ever noticed. This is a really nice display, by the way. CVR. I don't know what that is, but it sounds like a virtual reality, which... I haven't had a really good experience with people in virtual reality. I didn't even have to go to virtual reality to meet these people. It looks pretty, though. The background. The ceiling. Oh, God. So this is the the restaurant I was telling you guys about. It was a steakhouse, not a restaurant. A meat market. It has been abandoned for... Ever since I watched the Black Panther Wakanda Forever, which was like 2021, 2022, I think. I'm surprised it's still here. It's like really empty. Across from the Mexican restaurant. Oh, and there's the heat lounge where supposedly a lot of weird activities go around. I'm supposed to do a video of this, but I keep forgetting. <laughs> but I guess I'll just do it now. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, it doesn't look like it's gonna let you in anymore. Because back then I used to go through here and they would let me in, but looks like they sealed the the gates. Why does it smell? Ugh. Oh, I could go to the other side. Oh wait, but there's a gate right yeah, I'm there. I'm guessing they're building like some kind of virtual reality thing, but honestly, I don't know if I want to do it because I had a really bad experience with the YouTuber who does virtual reality. I'm not going to name names, but I've talked about this person on my channel. And they do a lot of virtual reality stuff. And they're like so sucked into it. Not a really good person, actually. But I remember I recorded a video around here in this area. Also, I'm going to check out the heat lounge. See if it's open or not. It looks closed. You did. So I can't get through it anymore. Oh well. Well yeah, this was a steakhouse. I never went to this steakhouse. Oh, interesting fact. I went to this House of Blues and saw like a, a tribute cover band of Fleetwood Mac. And also um, Tom Petty. A couple years ago. But I just left kind of early. I just... I don't know. I just wasn't really feeling in the mood that day. I only saw the Tom Petty tribute band only. Room, room Live. What's that? Never heard of it. Yeah, it's pretty dead around this, the end of this area at the garden walk. And I haven't even went upstairs yet. <laughs> Apparently they did shut down the ultra heat lounge. I don't know if I ever noticed it or not, but yeah, this is where um, supposedly there was a fight and then it escalated to the shooting in the parking structure, which I'm not gonna show because it's, the, it's just a parking structure, you know kind of boring the parking lots <laughs> but yeah there was like supposedly there was some gang related things going on here pretty sad actually you know some people just want to have a fun time although i'm not into clubs and bars that's why i don't go here <laughs> to the clubs and bars i don't want to get any drama so these are the two people that died in this lounge i mean in the parking structure shortly after that's sad yeah but I kind of wish they would have reopened that GoFundMe. I mean, just to help out, you know, the people's families. But unfortunately, you know, it's closed. I haven't seen the colorful stairs. Maybe they just repaint them every now and then. Look at this. <laughs> Man, I could have done my history right here instead of down there. <laughs> There's a lot less people around here. But look at this area. It's like really empty. Yeah, usually the upper level is more empty at the garden walk. Still have some of the kitchen stuff. Air fryers, all that stuff. I never went in this restaurant either. I don't really go to the Anaheim Garden Walk that much, only just to watch the movies. And that's it. Ooh, that sounds really good. Yeah, I remember when I worked at Angel Stadium, they would have like some kind of kitchen stuff like this. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's open anymore. This middle one that they have like closed. There's like a wall around it up here. I like this artwork too, the butterflies. Yeah, so I think they did get rid of that um, uh, Lush Cosmetics store and there was also a woman's store. I can't remember what it was called But I know there was one in Hawaiian and there was one in um, Fullerton 
And I remember trying to apply for that job around here in this location, but unfortunately I didn't get the job. Ooh, ice cream. Not a lot of people around here. I thought there'd be some people. I saw a couple, but they're, they're just eating. It's like really dead. pizzeria well it's not so amazing because it's gone <laughs> although I did just see a restaurant still open yeah so this restaurant right here is the only one that's still active Bang Me Dealer okay <laughs> yeah so this was a pet gift store Don't worry, we'll look at the stairs in a little bit. I just want to look around here first. Coming soon. Well, there's this store that's coming soon. Meat and fresh, teas, treats, desserts. Yeah, a lot of Asian small businesses around here. It's just that usually there's not that many Asian businesses, mostly in Buena Park and um, Westminster Garden Grove. It's probably because, you know, a lot of people like Korean music, that's why too. This is really pretty. Never give up. Remember around here, there used to be like a, a woman's fashion store that I applied to a couple years ago. I bought like this uh, really cool um, Skeleton? No, it was a skull jacket. A skull sweater. It was really pretty. I still have it in my house, but unfortunately I don't fit in it anymore. <laughs> I'm trying to lose some weight, so hopefully I'll fit in it one day. But it used to be around this area. I can't remember what it was called. I know it had something with red on it. Red something. There used to be one in Fullerton. Uh, it's too bad the ramen store is not open either. I've always wanted to try actual ramen, not the Maruchan ramen, which I, I still think is pretty good though. They recently opened a Starbucks here too. I don't remember that Starbucks being up here. When I just remembered something. There used to be a chocolate store. I can't Rocky Chocolate, Rocky Mountain Chocolate something. There's one in Velaterra too. But there used to be one around here and I guess they closed it too. Yeah, it's so weird when your memories start flashing back. <laughs> I didn't find the Harley Davidson store either. There used to be a Harley Davidson store. I, re I remember. Because I remember at one point I was applying for jobs. I don't see the Harley Davidson store anymore either. Let me do that again. But that's pretty much it. It's mostly just AMC and House of Blues in that corner right there. So, thoughts about this? Well,. I, I don't know, I mean, I think the Anaheim Garden Walk is probably rebuilding, but just really slowly. But it's also, like, almost gone because, like, a lot of businesses come and go around here a lot. Ooh, look at this. But I do love the architecture around this area, though. I hope I don't fall down. <laughs> I fall down. <laughs> I'm kidding. I really like the... 
the whole um, architecture around here is really unique too. Like, do you see this one? It looks kind of like Native American, maybe Aztec, and then this one that looks kind of like a Chinese warrior, maybe Japanese. I don't know if you guys could see it clearly. I know it's a little foggy today. And then there's this one. Wait, let me get a better view of it. I don't know if it's the weather or something. I gotta fix my phone, obviously. My tablet, actually. This isn't my phone. It looks nice. As we passed by, there was a Heat Ultra Lounge, but it's closed now. Because it's next to the Roomba Room Live. Or Ro Roomba Room Live? I don't know what it is. What that is, though. <coughs> and there looks like that they're gonna build a Bolero because I saw a sign over there. I'm gonna do this. Let's see what he has to say. I have that one. It's actually glow in the dark. I actually have these two as well. <laughs> Whatever happened to Funko Pops? A lot of people used to be into them. Yeah, I didn't really get much of a fortune. Ooh, I didn't see the mushrooms right here. All I was told was that just do the things you can and can't. Well, that's pretty much it for that fortune. But before I end the video, I want to show something. What the heck is this? <laughs> Also, I see Olaf right here in a nutcracker. That's pretty random. They need to upgrade the sign a little bit, or at least clean it. Look at the flowers here at the parking site. There was a boy's restaurant. I think at one point it was a black market, maybe? And here's the Bubba Gum Shop. Anyway, that's pretty much it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Comment, like, subscribe. And thank you so much for 400 subscribers. I have a big video coming. And it pays tribute to a special place. That's all I'm going to say. But it is coming soon. I, I'm currently on the wor working on it right now. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. And take care of your mental health and everyone around you. And I'll do the same too. Bye, guys.